Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Uh, slightly different uh, review this one. A, because as you've probably noticed, it's on a different camera. This is on the uh, new DJI Osmo Action. And uh, secondly, because it's uh, it's sort of like three products in one review. They're only small, uh, not a lot to say about each sort of uh, type product. So it's a bit much to do a review on each each one separately, and uh, there'll be other reviews on them online. But I just thought I'd bung all three together in this one little short review. So what it is, it's um, I bought a low pro uh, camera bag for my Canon M50 mirrorless camera, and the the mic complete with the the dead cat. Uh, just to carry that around, a small compact thing. I don't have any extra lenses at the moment. Um, that's all I wanted to do, just carry that around and um, that would be fine. I looked on Amazon and uh, saw this low pro bag, uh, 9.99, and it seemed to fit the bill. It said it was suitable for uh, cameras like that, middle mirrorless type small cameras. So I got it, but uh, as you'll see shortly, it's pretty small. You can just squeeze it in, but just the camera and nothing else. There's no room for a microphone or anything like that. So I thought, it's not going to do me this. Um, it'll be ideal for carrying around this uh, that I'm on right now, Osmo Action. So I have got a little tiny, tiny little uh, case for me, me Git Up, Git 2. Um, I'll keep that in there, um, but I thought for some carrying around the the Osmo plus maybe a couple of extra batteries and some ND filters or whatever, that low pro case will come in handy for that. So I'll, I'll show you how I'll be using that. And then I sent off for a Manfrotto slightly bigger case for the for the Canon. Again, I'll show you that very shortly, um, and I'll show you that in situ. The can the the camera and with the lens attached and. The microphones sitting there nicely and finally there's a little tripod yeah i've got a joby one of the uh, the bendy uh, tripods uh but that is for the uh, for the canon where it's a bit overkill for the gopro so i just wanted something to, to act as a, a handle for for holding it on and also that you could open the legs out into a, uh, a tripod so i saw this one again on amazon and uh, I'll show you that uh, shortly as well. So I will put, like uh, I mentioned shortly, I'll put all the links to the three items on the video at the end. Um, feel free to click on them and have a look. And with the prices and everything. So uh, here we go. This is uh, a quick view of those three items. Okay, so uh, because I'll be showing you the... Uh, the actual uh, camera I use normally for doing these uh, video vlogs, um, my Canon M50. I'm having to do this on my new uh, DJI Osmo Action. So this is the first one I've done with the Action. And, and I thought I'd put this little video together. Three little things I bought for the camera recently, for the originally for the M50. I got this bag. Now it's my my fault really for not measuring it properly, but it is it's a low pro scout one hundred bag, and it showed it on on the actual uh, Amazon site with a camera going in, and it does if you look. Does just about at a squeeze fit in, but it is a really tight fit, as you can see, and um, there's just nothing, no space left for it. So I thought, well, that's no good. I'll utilise this bag for something else. So what I've decided to do is, I'm going to put, it comes with this little divider piece, I'm going to put that in the top, like, like so, 
and then I'm going to store the Osmo on that. So the Osmo will sit on top of that and a space underneath then for any spare batteries, um, ND filters if I get any and things like that. You can see this top padding piece is really thick. So when you close the lid, it is really, um, really well, well protected. So that's the, the, the go, the, um, low pro scout sh 100 that's showing you the sign um so it says for compact cameras but i would say it's, it's too small really for that you just about squeeze one in um a little tiny um compact camera fair enough or uh, an action cam no problem so that was 9.99 on amazon again it's got a pocket at the back there and it's got a pocket with its own flap there at the front. Sorry about this uh, video and it is a bit difficult. Hang on. It's a bit better. So yeah, it's got the... Uh, flap at the front there. okay so what I did I had a relook and I got this now this is a Manfrotto NX the NX collection shoulder bag and it's a shoulder bag one I think I'm gonna put links below for the actual items on Amazon but as you can see it's much bigger inside and it comes again with this nice red velcro divider and you'll see the camera goes in there no problem and i'm going to put this divider up against it here and in that bit can go the full mic no full mic with the dead cat on it and uh, that's just what i was after something just to carry the camera and uh, the mic with the dead cap and there's tons of room for that padding isn't quite as thick as the low pro one but still plenty enough and it's got the zip around it it's got a pocket at the front so plenty of room in there for a couple of spare batteries uh, there's no pocket at the back the uh, Manfrotto logo and there's no pocket at the side but the shoulder strap is fixed on this you'd have to un undo it through all these buckles to, to actually take it off on the uh, on the low pro it is on quick fasteners like so so yeah the low pro slightly more thicker padding but as you can see nothing like as big and uh, uh, the Manfrotto one was two pounds cheaper as well and while I was uh, while I was on Amazon I got this little tripod for the Osmo it's a Mantoa Kaleido. And this cap unscrews. And under there you've got your standard quarter inch thread. So you'd obviously just screw the GoPro top on that. And then the um, 
there's my hole on that with the cap on it acts as a, a carrying thing for it and it comes out like that. so you can alter the height by obviously making the legs a bit not as stable but pl plenty stable enough for a GoPro or lower down and wider but the good thing on this is I looked at a few pull this clasp it's got a ball head so it's a fully well, so if you end up putting your tripod on something a bit uneven you can get it bang on level and if you look here it's got a little I don't know whether you can see it little spirit level it's dead hard to see on, on the uh, on this Osmo action but it's a, there's a little bubble in there you can get it bang on level but I did like the idea of this articulated head and you can put it in any position you like and then just press that clasp and it's locked pretty solid the um, plastic itself feels really good quality um, this green you can get it in green blue or grey for $7.99 £7 if you wanted the red one um, that was dearer that went up to about I think like ten ninety nine, but just for different colours so I picked the green one and that's quite um, a rub softish rubbery feeling and the legs are like that as well to give some grip this plastic here is that really hard like fiberglass filled type plastic really really hard stuff and the molding is very nice it's uh, feels quite good quality it doesn't feel cheap at all and then the hinges you know they feel there's no play in them or anything so that's it the uh, mantoa kaleido tripod Okay, so that's it. So I'm not sure what the sound quality will be like on this. I'm not re-recording another um, voiceover, which I could do, but I'm, I'm not bothering doing that. I'm going to let you hear how the uh, the sound is on the uh, DJI Osmo. Um, sorry about the lighting as well. Um, I'm doing this on the carpet in the front lounge because... Um, I haven't got enough workspace for it in such a wide angle to uh, without so it's showing all the clutter around. So, uh, so three little items, all for the um, originally bought for the Canon M50, all squeezed into one little video review. So uh, there you have it. Um, I do apologise about the quality of the lighting on the uh, the demo, the uh, not unboxing as such, but the demo of the three items. Like I said, I had to do it in my front room because uh, it was the only place I had enough room um, with such a wide angle lens to not not squeeze everything else in. I wouldn't normally do it with the uh, probably the first and last review I do with this Osmo, but because I use the Osmo to begin with, I might as well finish off with it as well give you a chance to hear how its mic is. This is just the internal mic of the uh, Osmo. As yet, as of yet, there's no external mic I know about that fits. I'm sure they'll bring one out, uh, but this is the internal one. Uh, one thing I did forget in the review um, on the little tripod here was, yeah, once of, obviously when all the legs are folded together, it's an ideal carrying handle for for the Osmo and it's got the articulated head as I showed and with them grips on the outside it's nice and comfy and grippy if it is a bit wet it's not going to slip out of your hands so um, again good quality nice plastics nice feel of rubber I think quite a nice little tripod for £7.99 so I hope the review of the two bags and the uh, tripod a bit of some use if you're contemplating buying any of them like i said i'll put the links um below to the uh amazon, to amazon where i got them from feel free to click on them 
um, and I hope it's been of some use to you. Don't know what the next review will be, whatever grabs me uh, that I buy, every little gadget I buy, I will do a review on. So until then, bye for now.